Good morning. We're back in Middle Earth, and as you can see, Medril is back to the doors of Moria because she's going to do some questing. As fun as the festival was, she feels it's quite important to get back to work. So, we are headed back into Moria, down to the Foundations of Stone, where we need to... Uh, that's not the Foundations of Stone. Okay, that is where we need to talk to a an elf envoy sent by the Lord and Lady of Lorien into Moria. Basically, they've sent some elves there to determine what sort of threat how bad it is and whether or not they feel like aiding them and of course it's gonna unhorse me as soon as i enter if i had been on a goat i would not have gotten unhorsed but i wasn't these halls will be great once more and we're actually gonna see what a slow ride to the shadowed refuge looks like from here because I'm not sure. And I'm curious. Oh, we have another kinship recruiting. Heroes of Eriador are recruiting. No matter if you are a super casual social player or an extreme raider, we want them all. If you're looking for a friendly place to hang your hat, and have a chat, then send a tell. And of course, uh, they're talking about the fact that you can actually skip areas if you want to and go back to them later because there's so many leveling choices now. Honestly, Maybe one or two too many. That's just me. Um, used to be you kind of had to pretty much follow. With the exception of... Like, you didn't necessarily have to do all of it anymore. Especially not the epic. But it was encouraged to go do some of it. You definitely would have done all the Misty Mountains. You would have done a Raygeon. You might have even stepped foot into Forest Shell. But nowadays there is so, so many leveling options that you can completely skip whatever zones you want. If there's another zone in a similar level range you like better. <clears throat> and actually that gets me to thinking. So, we have Moria up ahead. We have the ha other half of Moria up ahead. Uh, doing the side quests in Lothorian, heading into Mirkwood. But before we head into Mirkwood, I was thinking we could either go back and do the Misty Mountain stuff, because we skipped that all together, or we could go back into Aragion and do the Aragion stuff. Again, we kind of skipped that all together. Or perhaps we could, uh, I don't know, take a side trip to Angmar and do some of that stuff. I don't know, which would you prefer? Let me, let me know in the comments. Or maybe there was something else in there I haven't mentioned that you'd like to see me do. That doesn't involve writing or groups. <laughs> Just to make that clear. <clears throat> wow, I'm kind of... <laughs> Where the heck did it take me? So, we could have just gone... Oh, we did. So we went around this and uh, up here, and now we're going over into here. 
we're headed for this path here. Okay. Move that out of the way. I know where we're headed now. If you saw the little glimpse of the bottom half of the endless stair. Almost there. Up. Oh, we can get off right here. Because I think I pointed out this cave when we came and visited it here once. Now this is where we want to go. And of course she has a couple of things to tell me. The night of Iorindia's star brings hope even to this darkness. Can it be? You are the one. The axe you describe is known to me, but only in legend. It was prophesied that one not of our number, the nearly forgotten secret council of elves and dwarves, would find it once more within our ancient headquarters in the deepest recesses of the dwarf mine. That map you found was our last desperate attempt to leave a record should Dragon Slayer's hiding place be forgotten, a situation thought impossible then, but we did not foresee the rise of Durin's Bane, the abandonment of Khazad Doom, and its degradation into feared Moria. When smog was terrorizing the lonely mountains, some of us were instructed to search for records to where Dragon Slayer might be hid and found nothing. You, brave High Elf, have discovered a treasure beyond compare. Lord Elrond shall be alerted, as well as Lady Galadriel. Your name will be sung by council members for ages to come. Okay, so the the Dragon Slayer axe that we found in that one quest chain that ended in an instance is a a legendary weapon from the time of the Council of Elves and Dwarves. The Four Durns Bane. So it's been a while. It's been a long time since anybody has seen that. Very interesting. Actually, that was a very interesting little side story. And I had totally forgotten about that. At the command of Lady Galadriel. We stand against the evil in the depths. I would welcome you to the Shadowed Refuge, Medriel, but it is not a cheerful welcome. None should wish to come to this place. We are here at the behest of Lady Galadriel. Some terror has made its home in these caverns, and it is loathsome and evil. Marzog has sent orcs into the abyss to seek allies for his master. This is a grim and unwholesome place. 
The air is heavy and stagnant and reeks of unforeseen terrors that either slither about in the darkness. But for the Lady Galadriel, we brave the Black Pit and we will do as we're bid until we can be of no more use. She has sent you to us for a reason, Runekeeper. The Lady sees many things in her mirror. Perhaps she has sees what fate awaits us in the abyss. Help the elves of my company and we will see all that may come to pass in this place. Alright, so. Got a couple elves to talk to over here. And we're going to talk to Forglund first. We may have need of your help, if you offer it willingly. Mazog has sent many of his kind down here to the Foundations of Stone for some purpose. They seem to be seeking something, but we have not yet determined what that might be. It is clear, at least, that they are having very little success. Nay, these arcs are being seized by some madness of mind and body that rages within them like a fire, erupting soon onto the surface of, as a sickening corruption of the flesh. This illness makes them even more dangerous, Medrill, though they seem to lose all reason. They are the Globsnaga now. Defeat them wherever you find them, throughout the foundations of stone, for their mindlessness makes them more cruel and merciless than before. So, basically the Moria orcs are getting infected by this fungus and the fungus is mutating them into what he now calls Globsnaga orcs. And because these orcs kind of just are, uh, I don't know. How would you call this? They are mindless. They run, I guess you would say they run 100% on instinct. It pretty much makes them dangerous because it's, yeah, there's no thought or reason behind what they do. Sorry. The dwarves that seek to reclaim Moria, as foolish as they are, do not deserve the fate that Mazog's armies have chosen for them. But why has Mazog sent so many of his orcs here to the Foundations of Stone, when they might otherwise be used to attack the defenses of the dwarves? There is some foul purpose on, in it, Medriel, and I believe Gorothul, the sorcerer from Dolgador, will be at the root of it all. Mazog would not do this by himself, what possible reason could he have for splitting his forces? Seek out the members of the Pulpum that Mazog sent to the Foundations of Stone. They may now be Globsnaga, corrupted by the evil of this place, but it could be they still hold the orders that sent them here. Bring these to me if they exist. You will find the Pulpum, especially among the tunnels near the great underground lake and on the few outcroppings that break on its surface. All right, so, basically we're gonna kill some orcs and we're gonna kill some more orcs and we're gonna run into various and other sundry critters too. So yay, at this point we're gonna do uh, some of the side quests down here because why not? We're here anyway. Oh, and this place actually kind of keeps going. Not that there's really anything in here to see, but I'm just saying it is actually not a small little cavern. Got a couple of little standing pools of water. Now, that I wouldn't trust. Don't know what, what might come through those holes. However, it's actually a pretty good size for a hidden spot. 
I think the elves probably chose well, considering they're out of the way. And they can uh, observe things un uninterrupted. Interesting. Okay, <laughs> out we go. We're, we're done. We're done being touristy. So we can close that one out. Because now that we're here, we can actually do a few other things. Oh, Runekeeper Quest. Okay. Well, Matt Medriel, I've heard you are looking for further knowledge concerning the crafting of runes. Well, you've come to the right place. Let us speak further about how we can help one another. Stand and speak with me. The fate of Casa Doom hangs. Well, Matt Medriel, there is an air about you that hints at your experience. From your attire, I must assume you are a runekeeper much like myself. If greater knowledge is what you seek, then I can help. First, however, I have a task for you. Ancient runekeepers used to find chisels to carve out their speech craft in stone. The finest of these tools were made of mithril and were said to have power in their own right. When such chisel has been seen recently, and I think it appropriate we reclaim this instrument to further your own abilities. There is an arc, a fallock, in the southwest portion of the Redhorn Lodes near Malmazel. Seek out this arc and slay him. Our scouts believe that they have seen the chisel in his possession. And I do... <clears throat> want to say I know where that is. Prelude to hope. Yep. Okay. So, if you remember, there is a high platform with a couple of dwarves that had quests for us. And underneath that platform, there was another platform with a named mob on it. That is the mob that I'm going to be looking for. Obviously, not right now. We have other things going for us. But we'll... Uh, We'll make sure to make some time to do that. Because I am way, way far behind on doing any of my Burn Keeper's quest. Now we have a whole bunch of quests back here. But before we start, I need just a moment. Okay, I'm back. Now, that's right. We have, looks like, four quests here so far. If only the elves were not so stiff-necked, we might make a swift victory of this endeavor. If only elves were not so stiff-necked. You realize I'm an elf, right? Okay. Wearing at your service, I am a historian. Cause of Doom's greatest treasures, I believe, are in the records she has managed to keep safe for us, awaiting our return, protect it from the ravages of time and orc skills. Okay. Okay, she's saying that he's calling Moria she. Okay. Some of these records mention strange things only called rune rocks, and the con context seems to indicate it does not mean merely a stone inscribed with written runes, as one could find anywhere in Moria. The text speaks of them in terms of weapons of defense. The dialect is a bit obscure here and there. 
Will you help me look for them? I have a feeling we will be glad of the knowledge. So he wants me to look for some interesting, maybe defensive runestone type thing. Abide here a moment and speak with me. Have you seen the orcs around these parts from Friend Runekeeper? Disgusting, aren't they? Ah, I doubt such horrors would have propelled Doran's worst. I doubt such horrors would have propelled Doran's worst nightmares. In his name, rid us of some of these infestations. You will find many of these infected orcs to the south around the encampment they call Dalgomru. So, again, we're going to kill some more orcs. That's easy. We already have to kill some orcs. Now, this guy has two quests in there the, of the spider variety. So, we have eight legged insanity. If only the elves were not so stiff necked, we might make a swift victory of this endeavor. What? Speak up, Madril. Uh, do you need something? I am Clintor. Are you here to study the spiders? No? Why ever not? Well, look at them, discussing things. They have been infected by something, is what I think, but I have no idea when I have been keeping some of them in cages below this cliff and go down to study them when I get the chance. But I have a small problem. One of them keeps managing to get free. There are many more out there, but the last thing we need is for her to get to the others and bring an entire clutch down upon us. Head down the cliff, and then look along the path to the north. She normally does not go far. I think she views this as some sort of wicked game. If you prod her enough, she should come running back to the safety of the cage. So, he, he's basically keeping some spiders in cages, as, I guess, to study and one of them keeps escaping but it sounds like maybe she's doing it as much out of boredom as anything or maybe even just to show the dwarves that hey you know you got me in this cage but you don't really have me all right if only the heirs were not so stiff-necked we might make a swift victory of this endeavor Every day I find myself astounded by the sheer number of the huge fungus-infected spiders we see in the Shadowed Refuge. If you wish if you wish to be of aid to us, you would help us by destroying them. They are found everywhere, but most especially around Tunnel Guard Tunnel Gund, east of here, with your aid. And their nu their numbers should be greatly dwindled. Okay. All right, so kill spiders and chase one particular spider back to a cage. Now, you've never seen the spider before, so how do you know it's going to be her that you're chasing back? We are to find Mithril in Casa Doom. We will first have to deal with the orcs. Ah, oh, perhaps you can be of aid. Uh, have you seen those horrific nameless creatures? They have especially an infested an area on the lake's eastern edge. I beseech you, Runekeeper, go there and rid us of some of these revolting things. Have you realized that some of them don't even have heads? Vile, to be sure. Alright, so now we have spiders, we have orcs, 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 and, um... Other things. You want to get rid of one of these so we can put the epic back on the list. Although we may not get to the epic portion. We have plenty of other stuff to kill right now. Plenty of plenty of other stuff. This is one of those places, like most places in Moria, don't just jump off a, a, a ledge without looking down 
and in some cases don't jump on that off that ledge even after you've looked down you, you might find that uh, that was a step too far So over here, just in case you were interested, this is the uh, res circle. That's a pretty deep hole that we're not going to jump down. So if you go past that first path with the red circle and take a left at the second path, that's going down into the foundation to stun. But first, we can kill some stuff up here. Defeat it, globs and all the orcs. Goblin. There's actually quite a few goblins and orcs down here. We got some fungus collectors. There's a snarling overseer. That is one of our dark things. You can see what that looks like. They're pretty creepy. We got a glob snug guard. We have a little spider. And that little spider would be the one that we're supposed to be chasing back. Encourage the escaped spider to return to its cage. There's her cage over here, which uh, I'm assuming after she gets in the cage, you're supposedly closing that door. Ah, Glob Snug a troll. Hello. I'd like to talk to you. Alright, so where are we on some of these? We got at least one, two quests we can turn in already. I 
I think we've already done that one. We have. Okay. You can always tell when you've done one if you try to interact with it and it says you can't do that. And of course that is leading towards the red horn loads, which we don't need to head to right now. So back to the foundations. And where we have run into a glob snaga. Goblin. right I do need several more spiders oh we'll find plenty of spiders but I know, horribly strenuous activity, but still. Alright, this is the right direction. And of course, this place just looks absolutely vile and disgusting. You have discovered Dalgum Room. Dalgum Roof. There's a, another one of the unnamed things. Yeah, probably not the best time to take a screenshot, but you know. those guys right now. And we're going to be coming back here a couple times. Another one of these snarling creatures. Three more of those. There's another one down there.
Of course, this is also a place we'll be coming back to a time or two. See, we want to kill... Well, right off the bat, we want to kill two more Nameless and uh, two more Spiders. Okay, I need to go this way. And this is one of those places, if you get lost here, don't worry about it. <laughs> Everybody gets lost down here. I will probably get lost here more times than I can count. Okay. New deed, Spider Slayer. Oh, I'm gonna finish the Spider Slayer deed. this way, see if I can't find yep, right there there's a nameless Eh, no spiders. So, of course, you have one or two of these guys, which are conveniently coats back up to the Shattered Refuge for... <clears throat> you are near a rune rock. Okay. The rock glows with strange runes. But anyway, what I was saying, <clears throat> for those people who just don't feel like running back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, and for people who honestly, truly have trouble navigating this place, you have like two or three of those goats. So if you need to head back up to the Shadowed Refuge to turn in quests or stuff, you can just get one of those instead of trying to figure out your way back. Now granite might be a little better at navigating this place now than I used to be. I feel like killing this guy. What does it mean? Like I said, I can still get lost in here. And it is definitely no joy getting out when you're lost in here. There's a spider. We needed another one of those. And while we're down here, we need it. Oh, I thought I killed you. Or did I kill your cousin? We needed three pulpum. Go 
Bob Snaga Pulpum. So we need to look for those guys. There's the very bottom portion of the endless stair, which obviously has an end on both ends. I imagine though, as big as that staircase is and as <clears throat> wide as it is, as much traf as, traffic as it would have had, it does probably seem endless. This is one of those things where I swear you probably had to put a, a, a hotel on each level so you know, people had a place to rest. There's a pulpum. So let's kill him. Apparently we are looking for information he has. Spider. There's a pulpum over here somewhere. There he is. Probably gonna get that spider too. That's okay. Fun times. Well, that was easy. What's that skill called again? Vivid imagery. It's definitely been useful. And one more pulpum. This would be a little harder to find them. Awesome. Oh, he just got a whole bunch of quests done. Look at he split. Oh, we might as well kill these guys while we're at it. All right. Okay, and we're going to, for expediency's sake, we're going to take this fine fellow's goat up to the Shadowed Refuge. And how are our bags looking? And I keep clicking on, like, <laughs> you know how when you have the ability to open bags in other ways in different games, so they're one of my mouse keys opens my bags in New World and of course Tab opens your bag in several games but it doesn't work in this one. Well, that's a light armor trader. Provisioner. Okay. Was trade between the dwarves of Moria and the elves. Once there was trade, yeah. And there would be some nice continued trade now if you weren't constantly insulting the door or the elves. And of course, to say the same thing, uh, maybe Medriel's elf kin could stop insulting the dwarves. <laughs> And while I'm sitting here not really thinking of anything, I did think that I should probably take a look and see what kind of chisel she actually does have. Alright, so we need to look at her character. And we have gear, 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 gear. Exceptional student chisel of lightning. <laughs> okay. Level 20. 
I think I might <laughs> should have upgraded that. 40 levels ago. Okay. All right, so let's... <laughs> a little, little behind on that one. Let's go uh, turn in some quests. The Orcs of Moria have much to account for. You found one, truly. What a wonderful bit of luck. Khazadun belongs to Doran's folk. I have further examined some relevant records, Medriel, and I think I may have some new information. These rune rocks were used to ward off evil creatures in the deepest delvings during Doran's day. But I wager they have never seen the nameless horrors we have uncovered. And yet I have a feeling that these rune rocks may prove crucial somehow. You may laugh, but when I follow my feelings, good things tend to happen. Let us follow this one, shall we? I, I think if you've pressed the rune... On one of these rocks in the right order. Don't worry, I will teach it to you. They make a strange sort of writing. More of an idea, really. An idea of light and civilization and truth and honor and courage. Will you try it? Alright. So I guess we gotta find a run rock and tinker with it. These halls will be great once more. The situation is revolting. It is a good thing you've gotten rid of some of those orcs, Medriel. But our work is far from done. We have little time to speak. Great events have been set in motion. I rather wonder if the foul, rank, stagnant water of, that these orcs drink might have something to do with their horrid conditions. Perhaps introducing some fresh water into their supply will help to keep the fungal infection from spreading any further. Take this water skin and fill it with fresh water. Add that to the Ark's stagnant spring and I feel confident we could see some significant results. The only place you will find fresh water around here is within the small cave nearby. Once you've filled your water skin, take it and empty it into the Ark spring at Dalgum Rue to the south. Okay. Like I said, we'll be down there a couple more times. The spider is back? Good, Medriel. Good. That brings me some relief. I know she is a relatively little thing, but I've no doubt she could bring back a horde if she escaped. And we have um, a cloak that adds to will. And actually, let's see, blah, 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 I will have to look at that. That actually might be okay. But what's the bracelet? The bracelet would be good for agility base, so burglar, hunter, warden. So definitely the cloak. And it might be something I want to use, I don't know. Durin's folk will defy Durin's Huh, that's good news all around. That's 112 legs that won't be twitching through my nightmares anymore. Thank you, Metriel. My most sincere thanks. Of course, we have to pick that this might and vitality. Vitality and will. Which doesn't look like it's as good as anything I have, but so we'll look at it. You may have seen the spider queen who calls the nearby lair home. You can find her east of here. Don't hurt your legs jumping off. Defeat her and my breath will come a little easier. Actually, we have not met the queen yet, but I have a general idea where she's at. The shadow of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Casa You have greatly lightened my mind, Medriel. Now perhaps I can just put the whole business out. What? You saw dwarf corpses there, and they were gnawed upon? I oh. The 
have little time to speak. Great events have been set in motion. Bellows and Anvil, this is unacceptable. The bodies of our brethren cannot continue to feed these creatures. We will put a stop to it, or my neck, or may my beard wither. The first step is to ensure the respectful treatment of those bodies. We must allow them to return to the stone of our beloved cause of doom. Please go inter them, then return to me. So, we have to go bury some dwarves. And that would be a hobbit on a... <laughs> oh, the last thing you expect to see is a hobbit riding a boar. It's like... I guess you travel with dinner. It's like, I know, I know hobbits don't like to miss a meal, but that's ridiculous. All right. This is not possible. It is difficult to learn much from these orders, but this I can discern. Mazog is seeking to enslave some of the nameless horrors beneath Moria, but why he wishes to do this remains unknown to me, for he does not need nameless allies to crush the dwarves. They are near enough to destruction as it is. No, he must have some other target. I fear it may be the Golden Wood, home to my Lord Kiliborn and Lady Galadriel. Mazog does not have the foresight for such a plan. There must, this must come from Gorothal of Dolgador. Thank you, Madriel. We have learned much from your efforts that will be of use to us and to the dwarves as well. We may have need of your help, if you offer it willingly. We still do not know what causes the corruption that has taken hold of Mazog's orcs and made them fierce and mindless gobsnaga, but it is enough for the moment to know that their numbers are fewer. Thank you, Madriel. And now we need to go back and talk to this elf again. The orcs do not know what awaits them in the abyss. Mazog must not be aware of the great evil that lurks beneath Moria, or he would not play such dangerous games. His orcs are no match for what lies in the roots of these mountains. Or perhaps Gorothal, the sorcerer from Dolgador, has whispered honeyed lies in the ear of Azog's spawn. He may believe his orcs have the upper hand, but they do not. Got a couple of swords to pick from, or not sword, shields. One for a warden, one for a guardian. Got another cloak. They've just been passing out cloaks like crazy. I'll take a look at this one. And then there's a feather with a whole lot of stats. Okay, I'll take a look at that instead. We All right. keep our foes from Gothrindos, or all is lost. The nameless creatures in the depths of earth are not to be trifled with, but still Mazog insists on attempting to enslave them. There can be no doubt that the hand of Dolgador is causing him to try this foolish course, but I have no pity for him. These creatures are deadly, and they approach Gwathrindath, more closely with each passing hour. And still, Magor does not return. This is not like him to be so tardy. Were he not so strong, I would be worried. But Magor trained with Celeborn in the elder days and can take care of himself. There are cracks in the walls not far from Gwarthrandoth. Place these barrels in front of the cracks to disrupt the nameless from approaching the cracks. That's a mouthful. 
All right, so we have uh, started helping these elves out. They've given us some rewards. I'm going to have to look over, see if I want to use any of it. I'm definitely going to have to figure out how to upgrade that chisel. At least I think I'm using a chisel. It doesn't matter. It has to be upgraded. It should have been upgraded, like I said, 40 levels ago. Or, well, actually it should have been, up, yeah. You know what I mean. It's long past due. <laughs> so, next time we will continue questing down here in the Foundations of Stone and see what else we find out. But until then, bye for now.